MySQL is a free and open source relational database management system. It is written in C language and C++ programming language. It is powerful program in its own right. It handles a large subset of the functionality of the most expensive and powerful database system packages. Supports large databases, up to 50 million rows or more in a table. It works many platforms like Microsoft Windows, OpenBSD, Sun OS, Mac OS, Linux, Oracle Solaris, OpenServer, Unixware, NetWare, HPUX, and many platforms. What is MySQL? MySQL is an open source, multi threaded, multi user SQL database management system. It is relational database management system. MySQL is the world's most popular and widely used database system. It is very friendly to PHP web development applications. Why MySQL? MySQL is a free, very fast and easy to use. If that is what you are looking for, you should give it a try. MySQL also has a very practical set of features developed in very close cooperation with our users. You can find a performance comparison of MySQL to some other database managers on our benchmark page. See section 12.7 using your own benchmarks. MySQL was originally developed to handle very large databases much faster than existing solutions and has been successfully used in highly demanding production environments for several years. Though under constant development, MySQL today offers a rich and very useful set of functions. The connectivity, speed, and security make MySQL highly suited for accessing databases on the Internet. What are the important features of MySQL? It is cross-platform and Unicode support. ACID Embedded database library Triggers and cursors and updated views Online DDL SSL Multiple storage engines Multi-threaded SQL server supporting various client programs and libraries Different backend Wide range of application programming interfaces and Administrative tools Native storage engines NODB, NYISM, Memory, Heap, CSV, and DB cluster, etc. What are the specifications of MySQL? MySQL has the following technical specifications. Manageable and easy to use. High performance. Flexible structure and easy to modify. Supports many operating systems and many programming languages like C, C++, Java, PHP, Ruby, etc. Replication and high availability. Full security and multiple storage management. What are the pros of MySQL when compared with Oracle? MySQL is freely available and open source software which is available at any time and has no cost involved. MySQL is portable. It is focused on the web, cloud and big data. There is a variety of user interface that can be implemented. GUI with command prompt. Administration is supported using MySQL Query Browser. What are the statements of MySQL procedure and triggers? Compound statements, begin, end. Variable declarations, declare, and assignment, set. Condition declarations. Handler declarations. Flow control statements, if case, will, loop, repeat, leave, iterate. What are the triggers possible in MySQL database? There are only six triggers allowed to use in MySQL database. Before update. After update. Before insert. After insert. Before delete. After delete. What is InnoDB? InnoDB is a transaction safe storage engine developed by InnoWay, now Oracle Corporation. What is the rich exp? Arigsp pattern match succeed if the pattern matches anymore in the value being tested. Can you explain save point in MySQL? A define point in any transaction is known as save point. Save point is a statement in MySQL which is used to set a named transaction save point with a name of identifier. Can you explain SQLiog? 
SQLog program is the most popular GUI tool for admin. It is the most popular MySQL manager and admin tool. It combines the features of MySQL administrator, PHP MyAdmin and others MySQL frontends and MySQL GUI tools. What does MySMC do? It compressed the MySM tables, which reduces their disk usage. How do you start and stop MySQL on Windows? Berzine, net start MySQL, net stop MySQL. How do you start MySQL on Linux? By using slash etc slash init.d slash MySQL star. How do you log into MySQL using Unix shell? To log in, we can make use of this command. Hash MySQL dear slash MySQL h host name you username password. How to take MySQL database backup. In MySQL, to take the database backup use the following syntax. Miscle dump add drop table u, username, p password, database, backup underscore file. How to create MySQL triggers. Write syntax. A trigger is a named database object that is associated with the table, and it activates when a particular event occurs for the table. In MySQL, create trigger a statement used and create a new trigger. Example of syntax. Create. Definer equals user vertical bar current underscore user. Trigger trigger underscore name. Trigger underscore time trigger underscore event. On TBL underscore name for each row. Trigger underscore body. Trigger underscore time, before, after. Trigger underscore event, insert, update, delete. What is blob in text in MySQL? Blob stands for binary large object. It is used to hold a variable amount of data. There are four types of blob. Tiny blob. Blob. Medium blob. Long blob. The differences among all these are the maximum length of values they can hold. Text is case insensitive blob. Text values are non binary strings, character string. They have a character set and values are stored and compared based on the collation of the character set. There are four types of text tiny text, text, medium text, long text. Can you explain difference between MySQL underscore connect and MySQL underscore connect? MySQL connect. It opens a new connection to the database. Every time you need to open and close database connection, depending on the request. Opens page every time when it loaded. MySQL underscore connect. In MySQL underscore connect. P stands for a persistent connection so it opens the persistent connection. The database connection cannot be closed. It is more useful if your site has more traffic because there is no need to open and close connection frequently and every time when page is loaded. What is the difference between float and double? Floating point numbers are stored in float with 8 place accuracy and it has 4 bytes. Floating point numbers are stored in double with accuracy of 18 places and it has 8 bytes. What is the difference between char underscore length and length? Char underscore length is character count whereas the length is byte count. The numbers are same for Latin characters but they are different for Unicode and other encodings. What is the difference between primary key and candidate key? Every row of a table is identified uniquely by primary key. There is only one primary key for a table. Primary key is also a candidate key. By common convention, candidate key can be designated as primary and which can be used for any foreign key references. What is the difference between MySM static and MySM dynamic? In MySM static all the fields will have fixed width. The dynamic MySM table will have fields like text, blob, etc. to accommodate the data types with various lengths. MySM static would be easier to restore in case of corruption. What is the security alerts while using MySQL? Install antivirus and configure the operating system's firewall. Never use the MySQL server as the Unix root user. Change root username and password. Restrict or disable remote access. Difference between char and varchar. 
Following are the differences between char and varkra. Char and varkra types differ in storage and retrieval. Char column length is fixed to the length that is declared while creating table. The length value range is from 1 and 255. When char values are stored then they are right padded using spaces to specific length. Trailing spaces are removed when char values are retrieved. What storage engines are used in MySQL? Storage engines are called table types and data is stored in files using various techniques. Technique involves Storage mechanism Locking levels Indexing Capabilities and functions What are the drivers in MySQL? PHP driver CAP11 PHP driver ODBC driver JDBC driver Perl driver Ruby driver C wrapper Python driver Adu.net 5.mxz Write a command query to create a database and a table? MySQL comes up with some default database that can be used as a base to create a new one. The command that is used to create a new database is as follows. Create database SQL command the command has to be written in MySQL terminal. This command will create a new database and then you can create new tables and include data in it. How do you log into MySQL using Unix shell? We can log in through this command. Hash, MySQL dear slash bin slash MySQL h host name you username p password. Explain how many groups of data types in MySQL? MySQL support three groups of data types as listed below. String data types, char, nchr, varg, nvarg, binary, varbinary, tiny blob, tiny text, blob, text, medium blob, medium text, long blob, long text, enum, set. Numeric data types bit, tinient, boolean, smallint, mediumint, integer, bigint, float, double, real, decimal. Date and time data types, date, time, timestamp, time, year. Can you explain use of, in the MySQL terminal? Prompt in the command of MySQL indicates that a single statement is being entered across multiple lines. From this prompt MySQL interprets that you haven't finished entering the statements. It has no impact of enter which you might press to go to the next line. MySQL will execute the statement only when you will insert the semicolon in the end which it recognizes. Where MySQL table will be stored and also give their formats of storage. Each MySQL table is stored on disk in three formats. The .frm file stores the table definition. The data file has a .mid, my data, extension. The index file has a .my, my index, extension. What is the difference between MySQL underscore fetch underscore array and MySQL underscore fetch underscore object? Following are the differences between MySQL underscore fetch underscore array and MySQL underscore fetch underscore object. MySQL underscore fetch underscore array returns a result row as an associated array or a regular array from database. MySQL underscore fetch underscore object returns a result row as object from database. Explain existing view in MySQL. If you have an existing view, and you don't want it anymore, you can delete it by using the drop view view name statement. Explain create a new view in MySQL. You can create a new view based on one or more existing tables by using the create view view name as select statement. What are the different tables present in MySQL? Total 5 types of tables are present. MySQL Heap Merge InnoDB ISM What are the objects can be created using create statement? Following objects are created using create statement. Database Event Function Index Procedure Table Trigger User View. Can you define save point in MySQL? A define point in any transaction is known as save point. 
Save point is a statement in MySQL which is used to set a named transaction save point with a name of identifier. Can you explain SQLiog? SQLiog program is the most popular GUI tool for admin. It is the most popular MySQL manager and admin tool. It combines the features of MySQL administrator, PHP MyAdmin and others MySQL frontends and MySQL GUI tools. Can you define is rollback? Rollback is a way to terminate a transaction with all database changes not saving to the database server. Can you explain different table present in MySQL? MySQL, this is default. Based on indexed sequential access method. The above SQL will create a MySQL table. ISM, same. Heap, fast data access, but will lose data if there is a crash. Cannot have blob, text and auto increment fields. BDB, supports transactions using commit and rollback. Slower than others. In ODB, same as BDB. How do you back up a database in MySQL? It is easy to backing up data with PHP MyAdmin. Select the database you want to back up by clicking the database name in the left hand navigation bar. Then click the export button and make sure that all tables are highlighted that you want to back up. Then specify the option you want under export and save the output. What are the different types of MySQL functions? This is the basic MySQL interview questions asked in an interview. Find below the different types of functions used in MySQL. MySQL string functions, insert, concat, format, insert, length, left, field, trim, trim, upper etc. MySQL date functions, add date, add time, date, month, minute etc. MySQL numeric functions, average, div, exp, max, min, power, truncate etc. MySQL advanced functions, bin, case, cast, database, if, isno, version etc. What are the cons of MySQL? MySQL is not so efficient for large-scale databases. It is not support XML and OLAP. It is not as mature as other relational database management systems. It does not support commit and stored procedures functions version less than 5.0. Poor support for user-defined functions and stored procedures. Transactions are not handled very efficiently. Subscribe to our channel interview gig visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers www.interviewgig.com like share and comment don't forget to click the subscribe button click the bell button for latest updates